day 872. I was about to say being Christopher Cruz, but I don't have to say that anymore. Um, look at, there are some massive big clouds here. It's like Colorado clouds in California. Not used to that at all. Um, so I was at the coffee shop working. Today's Wednesday, I have my Warrior Wednesday call in a few hours. Um, and just put together this incredible presentation that uh, is the story about me having a conversation with God um, and what happened at conference, you know, me like laying on the floor, crying, speaking in tongues, you know, all of this stuff. And um, this morning I was a little confused. I was like, is Jesus our dad or is God our dad? Because I know, you know, Jesus is the son of God. And when he refers to God, he talks about the father and the Trinity is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But then I know that they're all one, but they're all separate. So I'm like, is Jesus, is Jesus dad or is God dad? And so I was trying to figure out when I was having that conversation with God, was that Jesus or was it God? And, and I learned that it's pretty clear that it's God. So um, Jesus is our big brother, basically, and God is our father. And um, so I was researching that and just like just started writing and and kind of journaling about you know I don't want to I'm going to tell this story tonight um where you know God told me he's he's Abba before father he's father before Lord and he's Lord before God he's Abba first and God last and I was just journaling and I was like God I'm gonna like go over this tonight and I just never want to mislead anyone like I know that you know, I'm new in my faith and all that stuff and I never want to mislead anyone. And and it was just like this this feeling of like it's don't worry. Like what you're telling them is gonna bring them closer to God. And I remember I told Araceli this story and she said, Wow, that's so beautiful. And it really is, you know, to to go from seeing God as even our father to Abba, to Papa, to Daddy, to, to Dad um, is just a, a beautiful experience. And so I put together this, this whole presentation that is just awesome. And then I was thinking about Adam and Eve and when they fell, you know, before, before the fall, God was Abba papa you know they walked around and they didn't have any clothes on and they didn't feel insecure they didn't feel any fear they weren't afraid they weren't embarrassed and then after the fall you know they went and they hid and they made clothing out of you know plants and and i feel like that that is when that was the transition when the when god went from abba to father when they went from love to fear and it was a very big transition and so i'm going to be talking about that and just just going with it and and just going with you know what what God showed me that night and the power of it and so um yeah it's just super powerful so I'm excited for that um yeah and I'm just grateful that like every week God gives me an amazing story to share with these warriors of God um and then the last part that I'm gonna show them is the guy who prayed for me, who's one of my friends. Um, I sent him a message yesterday saying like, hey man, can you clarify what God was saying to you when you, when you, when he was telling you, when he was telling me through you to multiply, to multiply. And he said, yeah, raise up leaders and, and disciples and hold them to kingdom standards so they can go out there and do what you're doing in the world. And I was like, oh my God, that's the end of my presentation. I'm gonna show them. Like, guys, this is you. You're warriors of God. This is what I'm doing. And God even used another person to tell me exactly what I've been telling you guys. So if you wanted some confirmation, if you're trying to figure out why you're a part of this, you know, what it is, then here we go. And we got to raise all of our expectations to kingdom standards. And today I was thinking, I was just like, oh, I'm frustrated with so many of these warriors. Like, I feel like there's this smallness, this mediocrity, and it's like frustrating to me. It's like, where are the freaking warriors? Where are the people that are gonna fight? Like, you know, and uh, there's just like this frustration. And then I flipped it on myself and I'm like, 
well, why don't you be the warrior? Why don't you be the ultimate warrior? And, and allow them to follow that. So before you want them to step up, why don't you step up? I was like, you know, that's a good point, Chris. Thank you, Chris, my greatest self, Chris, and not my sheep, Chris. So, so I'm going to step up more and I'm just gonna see what happens with them as they step up. So, or if they step up as I step up. So yeah, just so exciting. I feel so blessed. Like God is just, he's just holding my hand through this whole process. And there's multiple times where I try to let go of his hand to do it on my own and that fails miserably. But when I just grab his hand, he just pulls me through. So it's beautiful. <laughs>